Hey guys, what's up? It's Shinobi Ranger here, and welcome back to another episode of our Age of Empires 4 campaign playthrough, playing the third campaign, the Mongol Empire. And we shall be proceeding to the third scenario of this campaign. But before we proceed ahead, in case you missed the previous two scenarios of this campaign playthrough, you would be finding the playlist notification popping up in the right top corner of the screen. So do feel free to check it out in case you missed the previous episode. Okay, 1213, we have breached the Great Wall of China. And now we are knocking on the gates of Zhengdu, modern day Beijing, i.e. modern day Beijing. 1215, the Battle of Zhengdu. Shock and awe. The quest for world domination brought Genghis Khan to the walls of China's prosperous capital, Zhengdu. Okay, so Zhengdu is Beijing, in case you don't know. First, it was called Beiping, then Beiping, then Zhengdu. Finally, reverted to the name of Beijing. <coughs> Just so you know, during Han, during the Han Empire, uh, Beijing was a part of the You province. Alright, so beyond the You province, you have Liaodong, the Liaodong Peninsula, and the command, the Liaodong Commandry. Crossing that, you enter Korean territory. So that was the maximum extent of Han China, not the China we know today. Okay, just information, no funny ideas, anybody. Okay, so let's start. Genghis Khan had successfully breached the Great Wall of China. He led his forces to the greatest prize in the East, the capital city of Zhongdu. He besieged the city, knowing that its inhabitants could not hold out forever. So this is going to be a major milestone for the Mongols because these Mongols are primarily horse archers and you are laying siege to a settlement you are not just you are not laying siege to any ordinary settlement however you are laying siege to the capital of the Jurchenjin. okay uh, so this is a monumental task it is a mammoth task because these people have no idea about siege engineering or how to uh, how to conduct sieges they are used to the step warfare of mongolia where raids happen you are not facing a sedentary lifestyle settlement. But the fact that is the fact is that they overcame Beijing. So that is not a small thing for these nomads. And these people will learn from this. They will employ Chinese engineers and they'll gain that knowledge of siege engineering. With a lot of things, a lot of extra things. Alright. Zhongdu was a shining beacon of trade, healing, and technology. To take the great city for himself. Genghis Khan would employ a slow but reliable strategy, starvation. Alright, so I pronounce Genghis Khan as Genghis Khan. You may also pronounce it as Genghis Khan. Depends person to person, it's a proper noun. So if you hear anybody pronounce it as Genghis Khan, that is also fine. Some people pronounce it as Genghis Khan. Example, I am doing it right now even as I speak. That is also alright. Alright, slow but reliable strategy, starvation. Yes. See, the amount of patience you need to throttle the fight out of the enemy is immense if you're this is the this is the easiest way to capture a settlement you want to take very few casualties but you want to <clears throat> inflict maximum damage on the enemy Star so encircling their city cutting off their supply routes and starving them to death is a very good uh, and effective option okay instead of painstakingly assaulting the walls Launching frontal assaults, you can just encircle them, cut off their lines of communication, just isolate them and make sure you keep it. You have to maintain that strong, that stranglehold on them. You need to like, throttle them, right? You're choking them. You're choking that city to submission. You need to maintain the chokehold. So, if you have the patience, the willpower, and the adequate number of troops, provided uh, with you this is a very effective strategy you can force the entire enemy settlement to capitulate without a bloody fight you take far fewer casualties whereas the enemy suffers because they are lacking food and people resort to all sorts of things when they are starving when there is a choice between starving to death and surviving people will try to survive 
the kinds of levels they will stoop to is infathomable but it is survival of the fittest in such a scenario so you, you cannot judge them for it okay let's continue let's start bearing down on the gleaming capital of jongdu genghis khan raised the black banner of war on his historic enemy <clears throat> the qin dynasty to take the heavily garrisoned capital the mongols would have to starve its army by eliminating chongdu's suppliers right and the jin here refer to the jurchen jin not the jin of the first, khan empire the khan directed his warriors to raid qin buildings and villages surrounding chongdu Khan, Genghis Khan, your group one. Scouts, your group two. Word of the army's wealth would spread, compelling Mongol soldiers from the north to join the fight, seeking spoils of their own. Okay, appropriate. We are getting free sheep. Let's keep those sheep with us. Genghis Khan, go forward. All right, advance. There's a tower there. Burn it down. Scorch it first. What? These fools are withdrawing. Why? <coughs> so what we have? Charge arrow. Okay. Raiding arrow. Defense arrow. All right. Why did they withdraw? Is question. I find it weird. Damn, this is a narrow pass. It's difficult to maneuver troops here. If there are spearmen on the way, damn it, it's going to be a pain. All right, I see another route. We need to avoid the main capital's defensive forces. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. I see a <laughs> settlement there. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Kill him. He's hurting our scout. That was brutal. That was utterly brutal. Uh oh, spearman. Okay, Mangudai, do your thing. Excellent. Charge. Cavalry. Who's this? Villager. Oh, poor soul. I feel bad for him. Okay, burn it down. Burn everything down. There is a gold deposit there, and there's another. There's a stone deposit there. Good. Uh oh. Scout, 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 Ooh, scout, watch it, watch it, yep, there we go, <clears throat> we need just 50 more gold, any more hapless souls to find, any more helpless people to butcher, any places to torch, is this a field? This looks like a main road. Settlement? Civilization? Yes. Let's get our scouts out of the way. Scouts out of the way. Right. Attack move. And whoever comes in your path dies. As simple as that. We are still in the dark age. Okay. That's it. Torch it, torch it. I think we should use ability arrow. Yay! Successful raids. Mongol settlers and soldiers arrived to join his army. Get over there. With his numbers steadily growing, the Khan turned his attention to the capital. He sought to starve Chengdu's army by cutting off its suppliers. Okay. All right. We need to eliminate the supplies. Okay. Okay. But first, I want to assert a bit of map control. There's 
there was a village. Excellent. Now just cross the northern bank. We will secure our positions and holdings on the northern bank of the river. Uh, this is easier to defend. We we'll drop a few outposts here. They give us advance warning. We can deal with the rest suitably. Oh damn! Oh shit! Why? The oh. Uh oh, oh, oh my god. Uh oh. Come on, let's just come on. Cavalry, charge quick. Hmm. That was a bit close. All right. What do we have? Town center, pasture, agar. Hmm. There is gold over here. <coughs> hmm. Okay. I need to destroy some towers here. All right. Town center. I will. Put it. I. I should get used to this. Okay. What? Who is this? Uh, some poor soul. Okay. All right. All Mangu die. What? Who's firing? Gunpowder. Okay. Wait. Five. We can reach it forward. Whoa! These people are not kidding around. All right. Uh oh! No! 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 Avoid combat. Oh, it's gonna sting. That is gonna sting. That is Genghis Khan. Where are you, my friend? Oh, we lost a soldier. Shit. Burn it down, burn it down. How many freaking outposts do they have here? Well charged, damn you! The idiots need to be told to fight and charge. What are you doing? <coughs> okay. Uh, pasture. We need a pasture. Hey, damn! I keep. All right, done. Okay, there is a goat path here. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Made it safely into the city and reported on the Mongols' numbers and movements. Okay, that ain't pleasant. Chengdu would now allocate any military supplies it received to rallying counterattacks on the steppe invaders. Oh no! Oh, I'm so scared. First things first. Where is our scout? Scout, just drop your sheep off there. <coughs> we need to go exploring. So those are supplies coming in. All right, we'll cut them off. Oh, well, this is going to take a lot of time because this is. The not conventional way of fighting. That's it. That's it. What? Is that? Oh shit! Repeating cross moment. Run! 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 Armor. Kill the villagers, kill the villagers, there is gold. Oh, good, 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 there is gold. Just 
slow to and stay here. We need to advance the next stage. First things first. That's our top priority. Really? Super. You will be our defensive forces. I burn the tower down. Okay, burn that place down. Sunni market has to collapse. Yeah, yeah, signal arrow, I get it. It's being worried. Oh, okay. Now oh, that makes a lot of sense. The Mongols left the Shumi market in ruins, ensuring the village could no longer send supplies to Chengdu. All right. So in destroying the supplying markets, the Mongols denied Chengdu critical supplies, leaving its garrison weakened. Right, as I was saying, we shall establish a perimeter here along the bank of the river, so we are not exposed to enemy attacks. Despite the Mongols' efforts to stop them, enough Jin traders had entered Chongju to fully resupply its military. This is your. The Jin launched a counterattack. This is your great counterattack. You call this a counterattack? Really? Okay, good. Good. All right. Now we'll take up positions at. Where? 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 Where are they? Where is the counter attack coming from? I do not know where they are going to come from, but... Ah, here we go. Is this your biggest counter attack? You call it a counter attack, really? Try to believe this. Fire Lancer. What? Oh, Chinese unique unit. Yeah, if this is your lame counter attack, I am not impressed. The Mongols put down the Qin counter attack. But another would soon come if Qin traders continue to resupply Chengdu's military. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Stand ground. Men at arms. This is a barracks, okay. <clears throat> now, mm, I want another pasture. Okay, there are scouts. Just give me a bit of exploration here. I need to explore the map. Yeah, supplies will reach them. Blah blah blah. blah, blah. Whoa, what the? Oh my god. Who I shouldn't do that? Don't do that. You build an Ogu here. Oh, mountain paths. Good. I need to explore a bit, however. We have this one scout, really? Oh no! That's a shame. So this is the river bank. I see something red. Oh, okay, another village. Alright, alright. Hmm. Yeah, we'll cut them down at the appropriate time. Let's not break our heads too much about this. This O is done. So here we'll build our blacksmith. This is a gur. A gur. I will build the gur here. Eight people on food. <coughs> All right. Uh, I don't need a market. I need an outpost, right? Give me villagers. I need villagers. Can I build another town center? Yes, I can. But I need 500 lumber for it. 
We need an archery range as well. Okay. I don't know why this is being explained, but whatever, I just take it, I suppose. Supplies have reached Jongdu. Great. Two people, right? Or three people? Okay, three people. You will... Yeah, get me that gold. We have men at arms. Okay. Now, I need more gold. I need much more gold. I need lumber primarily. We have plenty of food gatherers. Huh? What? Really? Ah yeah, come on. One wally. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Poor souls. Oh, never mind. These people are attacking us. You know, we might actually struggle a bit. Oh my god, we have taken heavy loss of our heavy cavalry. We need spearmen. We need, we need good quality spearmen at that. Huh? Oh, wrong but sorry. Upgrade done yet? Not yet. Uh, stables. Stables, 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 stables. We need spearmen. Loads in, loads of spearmen. Out of lumber. This is the problem. <laughs> Their military supplies have been slowed down, but we do not have the numbers to go into action. This requires number, and I don't have any number, unfortunately. Oh, we are getting reinforcements. Good. Hold on a minute. I think I can cut down. Wait, wait. I can cut down on unit production. Good. Good, 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 good. Good number of reinforcements. Come in, come in. Please come in. Okay, all of this is harvestable lumber. Very good. How many citizens are coming in? Oh, a lot of villagers are coming in. Your archers, your spearmen. Excellent. I am liking it. Ah, raid bounty. I forgot this. This has been sling arrows. So, red bounty improved. Oh, everything needs an Omu here. Okay, whistling arrows, scouting falcon. Okay. So, once you research the base technology, you can use stone to research an improved version of the technology. Okay. Now it makes a bit of sense. All right. Uh, these spearmen will go join them. Now, how many villagers? What's this? An archery range? Oh, okay. Free archery range saves me lumber. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, the supplies can keep coming in for all I care. <clears throat> um, wait. I think one of them will go in for. Alright, oh. who And again, villagers arrive. My god! Stables, look at that. Pre upgrades, excellent. Now what do I do with so many people? That's another stable, okay. 
the six of you will go chop lumber because we are lacking lumber. You will build a gear over there and build it up and continue your lumber camp, whatever you need to do. Uh, archers, garrison there. Arrow skits. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Slurry thing, you are going, boy. Uh, so are stables. We need another archery range, right? Yes. Uh, somebody got messed up. Alright. Yeah, supplies have reached Jangdu. The Imperial capital is well reinforced, I see. Not a problem. Not at all a problem. Upgrade to horseman. Uh, where is that? Okay, here we go. Bloomery improved. Fitted leatherwork. Everything costs stone. That's the only sad thing. Okay, specialized pig. Let's get everything going. We are laughing. All right. Despite the Mongols' efforts to stop them, enough Chin traders had entered Chengdu to fully resupply its military. Yeah, yeah, Choosing yeah. their moment, the Chin launched a counterattack. Oh, you're going to be coming in from that side, huh? Okay. Not a problem. And you just drop another outpost. What happened? Who's? Oh my god! Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky fellows. Alright, alright. Oh, my villagers! No! Help! Help them! Help, help, help! Sheep! Oh my god! The moon's charge! Kill them! Oh my god! So many of my. Oh! Kill them! Uh oh! Shit! Get back down! Damn! That was good! That was good work, Jane! That was very good! You messed my economy up! Fair enough! I'll give you that! Fair enough, Jin. You messed up my economy. Now who is attacking? This is what buffoon. How did he? Dude, come on. This is a pathetic excuse. Come on, seriously. Really, we have lost all of our spearmen. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Great. How many spearmen do I need? And I cannot advance to the next stage. Are you joking? Really? Oh, man. I can build rally though. That ain't it. Okay. Uh, enough smooth talking. Now we need to get serious. I don't trust those Chinese buggers, so I'll just leave a small force here. All right. How many students are going? What's going on? Oh my God! Don't like the supply sound, but I do not have an option. I can't advance to the next stage. Ah, oh, seriously? Why so restrictive?
Oh, it's gonna take time. And this is almost exhausted. How many spearmen? Yeah, yeah, you just keep showing that they're all cavalrymen. All just cavalrymen. <laughs> How much does a Mangodai cost? 50 gold. Hmm. And our lancers, they're expensive. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. Mangodai it is then. And we use up all of our gold. Here we go. In straight to the go 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 go. What do you need to give them? Mangrai fire. Our spearmen are being cut down. Really? No. I saw that. I saw that a mile away. The O is defeated. Not bad, we held off the attack. We are also preparing to go on our next attack. Yeah, yeah, supplies of these jungle. Great. Uh, you know what? Let's amass stables. We need stables. We need lots and lots of stables. <laughs> I'm building it somewhere. How much gold do we have in this deposit? Quite a lot. Okay, good enough. Yeah, the, see, everything requires stone. That's the problem. So you need to pick and choose which is your important technology we need, which you need to prioritize, which will really affect your gameplay performance. So much money. Yeah, I don't like the sound of it. It freaks me out, but I know what the purpose is. So kindly shut up. I can't even build outposts, damn it. Because it requires stone and I have limited stone. Four spearmen, look at it, out of food. How very convenient. No, 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 wrong. Alright, you not get over here, you are going to be the raiding force. There is a gold deposit there, a gold mine. Great. Yeah, I am going to leave these people, these horsemen here just in case those damn Jurchen Jin troops don't get funny ideas here. They are, they are really annoying people. Yeah, yeah. It's not like I'm using that. Uh, Spearman. All right. Ah, the progress is not so great. So kindly stop spooking me. Good, Mangurai, come on in. Wait, we can commission siege engines, right? I forgot that. Just build me some siege engines. These ramps will do a lot of damage. Okay, almost half an hour into the game, not much progress. That's 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 okay. That's okay because Yeah, so attack is coming in soon. Okay. Not a problem. Even we are preparing for our own attack. Okay. Why do these Mangodai take so much time to produce me? Oh, okay. Not not so much, but okay. Whatever. Good. <clears throat> we are almost at pop limit, my god. Who what? Good stuff. These men just cured them all. <laughs> 
You know what? I think we should position our crossbowmen. Right. Oi, 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 oi. They're ignoring us. No, my gold miners. Get them. Pincher them, pincher them, pincher them, pincher them, pincher them all. You will not kill my villagers. Despite the Mongols' efforts to stop them, enough Qin traders had entered Chengdu to fully resupply its military. Yeah, yeah. Choosing their moment, the Qin launched a counterattack. The Qin launched a counterattack. I don't know where they were coming from. Hey, 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 Light Cavalry, stay with them. Stay with them. We are not yet on our attack. All done? Okay, you are group 6 siege engines. You will be group 7. Yeah, I see that a mile away. One archer. Uh oh. Never mind. I spoke too soon. Okay, here we go. This is now going to be called Bushri. Yeah, butcher them, butcher them all. Fire lance. Ooh, crossbowmen are melting them down. Okay, follow the road. Quick. Follow the road. The advance. Oh, heroic soul. Get ready. <laughs> <coughs> I missed the scout. I need another scout. Oh! Oh my god, I forgot these mango die. I should have used the scout. Where is the scout? Scout. Yeah, come on. Get over here. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Supplies won't reach you for long, however. Just wait a few moments. I'll show you who's your daddy then. Okay, very good. I see a lot of good terrain. Nice. I can rebuild it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, yeah, just build that O oh, on that one. Okay. Military supplies, huh? Okay. Okay, you are all seven. Advance! First, cut them down. Or if supplies reach them, whatever, I don't give a damn. Oh well, whatever, we'll just destroy the source. The freak you are all running away, huh? Mom would I kill him. Charge! Market goes on first. Quick! Coward, stand still. Yes, our town center. Another counter attack is coming in. I know that for sure. But we have started causing damage, which is most important. That is what matters primarily. Isn't that nice? We just destroyed everything here. Counter attack incoming? Not a problem. In raising the market at Fangshan, <laughs> the Mongols had severed a critical supply line to the capital. Fangshan's fallen. What will you do now? 
Okay. As the continued to sabotage the city's supplies, Chongdu's garrison grew weaker by the day. Yeah, yeah, right. So, give me some right of sight here. Nothing? Really? <clears throat> I think the counter attack is coming in. Yes. Yeah, good luck. Oh, what, what, what? Where, where? Who attacked what? Oh my god, I really I used to freak out for Trader, hello, look at that. Okay. Okay. Not bad at all. Fine. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Just don't do that. Just take a potions there. That is one part of the job done. There's a trader there. Okay. Alright, let's go exploring. Yeah, now your supplies are not going to be so great. So this is the Imperial City, huh? Okay. Square in the center of the city. Uh, sorry, cent smack dab in the center of the city. There are outlying villages as well. I feel sorry for you fools. Oh my god, spearmen numbers are dropping. We need to replace our precious spearmen. They are slaughtering the Chinese forces. Okay. Advance. Toss the settlement. While I just continue exploring. Okay. There is another stone deposit there. Alright. Two idlers. Where are they? Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Supplies have reached Jiangdu. The city of Beijing. Okay, here we go. So this is one more market. Alright. Where is our army? My god, we are taking their own sweet time to advance. Oh, look at this. Oh. Backdoor entry. Nice. Spearman, how many? Yep, these many ought to be sufficient. Come on. Thank you for the spearman. These two Mangudai can stay with us. Is oh all our heavy cavalry have been busted. Sheep. Oh no 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 no! Well supplied and standing strong, it was still able to resist oh. any direct Mongol attacks. Foolish fellows! And we took such heavy casualties. Okay, you lot are dead. Shit! Oh well, we will kill them all. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh yeah, Genghis super. Khan's army struck down the trader that was headed to resupply Chengdu. Oh, stone! For every trader killed, Chengdu lost several days worth of supplies. The Mongols were systematically choking the city and starving its garrison. As it should be. But let's, oh, what? I hear gun. What the hell? What is a oh, militia? Piddly, piddly militia. All right. Burn. But this thing will burn. Yeah, there we go. Simple. All right. Uh. So at this girl. This girl will go here. These six villagers, you build a gur for yourselves. 
What is happening? Okay, dashing market is going to fall. Without hesitation, the Khan's warriors put their torches to the market at Da Sing, snuffing out weeks of Chongdu's supplies. Uh oh, fall back! Shit! Wait, 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 kill, kill these villagers. Don't let them go home. Do not let them go home at all cost. What happened now? Oh my god, we are losing men. Question, why are they only, are they tunneling? Oh, they're using tunnel vision there. Smart. Smart, Alex. Smart. Hey, shut up, Amoy. I need... Okay, burn it down. What? Um. Oy, 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 oy. What the hell? No burning business here. I am the one who is doing the burning. You are the burner. You are going to be burnt. That's it. The Mongols' efforts to stop yeah, yeah. traders had entered Chengdu to fully enough Jin traders, enough Jin traders. Moment, the Chin launched a counter attack. Enough Jin traders, blah 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 blah. You are not gonna scare me, boy. <clears throat> I think we should double down on more stables. We should, right? We should, we should do that. Okay. Look at all these sheep. Wait, 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 wait. Give me a minute. Let me just drop these sheep back. I don't like the look of that. Okay. Come on. Give them your boost arrow. All right. Now let us start producing our forces. Eight, ten, six, twelve. These many heavy cavalry ought to be sufficient. Right. You just go drop these sheep off. To the pasture there. All right. <clears throat> Good. We will utilize every bit of stone we find. Okay. Last settlement. We can burn other villages on the way. Not a problem. Yeah. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh no. Nothing is gonna happen. Relax. These fools take the same lame ass path to the north. Yeah, man would I have fire and move. Attack while moving, so... Run for it! Run for your lives! Run! Oh my god, who was sold? He died. Do you need an invitation? For them. Burn that down. What is the point of it existing, huh? What is your ranged attack? Fire 8, okay. Yes, there we go. Burn it down. Burn it down. Burn everything down. <laughs> Poor souls. Eleven spearmen, eh? Okay. 
All right, now just keep progressing, keep progressing. Let's go. Get back here. If she dies, she dies. I cannot help it. Sneaky bypass. How would that be? Is this a river? Yes, it is a river crossing. Okay. Okay. Oh ho. Let us block their route. Simple. Oh good scout. Thank you. Now, we need light cavalry. You are going to reinforce them here. Uh, pack this girl. Pack it. And move that girl over there. No, 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 no. They just go there. Go there, go there, go there. There's a fresh girl for you. Uh, what? The scout died? No. Okay. <coughs> Hey, just ignore them. You kill him, kill him. Okay, leave leave the trader be. Leave him be. He'll be the last person who's gonna make it across. Oh, so there's another gold deposit there. Okay. What? How did they convert to militia? Okay, unexpected. Can you escape? Escape, escape, escape. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. What? Uh oh. Ooh. Oh dear. Uh oh. Looks like we screwed up. Okay. No matter. Men at arms. Yeah, it's dropping. It is dropping. You can. What? Who are you? Whoa, 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 whoa! Villagers are killing scouts. My god! <laughs> Poor soul. They're like, oh, look! I got bait, fresh bait, and then we got screwed. Okay, you will build me some more ramps. Those ramps are done for. There is a note card. They are just wasting. Oh wow! They are wasting their time burning it down. How funny! Stupid fools! What stupid fools! Need to raise their stupidity. Why are you all dead? There is number here. What are you doing? What happened now? Why? What happened? What happened? Why aren't you lump? Oh my god. Oh, pack this gear up. Yeah, just unpack it here. Who is attacking now? Who is attacking now? Yeah. Yeah, this is what is going to happen. You're going to get wrecked. Yeah, just, just slaughter them. We're gonna have any embarrassment getting killed by villagers. Villagers are doing this shit to you. Oh, you arses can't build it, eh? Oh, well, whatever. Yeah, there we go, infantry. Heavy cavalry. How many Mangudai? Nine Mangudai. Not enough. Not nearly enough. But we need this. Who attacking? What? Oh well. Ah, uh, that's six villagers lost. Can't be helped. Smart, fools, I would say. Smart indeed. Kill that. There we go, just kill them all. Now you are getting smart. Very well. I still know your attack route, so I will destroy you. This will be the last supply you get, don't worry. I promise you that for sure. 
Kill them all, kill them all. That's it, kill them all. This is a useless pool. I don't need it. Really? Scouts are attacking us. And they're being butchered at it. Okay, we can expect a counter-attack then. Alright. You breached the perimeter though, no need to worry. <coughs> no, first we have to destroy this raise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Burn it down, kill them all. And we are torching it down really quickly. Oh, that's gonna stink. Get over there, burn it down. Despite the Mongols' efforts to stop them, enough Chin traders have entered Chongdu to fully resupply its military. Choosing their moment, the Chin launched a counterattack. Blah, 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 blah. That thing is gonna collapse. Goodbye to your. The market at Tongzhou was set aflame. And with it, many vital supplies intended for the city. Goodbye, Tongjo. Goodbye. With Chengdu devastated by starvation, the walls of the great Qin capital were devoid of soldiers, and only a diminished garrison remained. Oh, I feel so bad for Desperate you. Desperate and isolated, Zhongdu could no longer resist. The time had come for Shit, Genghis Khan to a... launch his assault Oh yeah, we're flanking us, huh? Oh. No outflank here is gonna work. We're facing crossbow men here. Torch everything, torch everything! Yeah, last time we are going to ever, ever, ever be doing that. Let us muster our forces. Burn that down. There is a gold deposit there. It's almost exhausted. Bloody hell. We had six people, right? Yeah, just build me a girl and continue extraction of your resources. Alright, pack up. Pack up, everything packs up. All military buildings pack up. This is it, we are on the war path. I want all Mambu Dai to torch this village here. And I will send you these troops to help reinforce. Are all the Gur being packed up? Yes, they have. Okay, send them forward. Where is our light cavalry? Okay, that they, they would have moved out. Okay, we will pack up. Okay. Troops are moving in. I need more rams. We will get them. Okay, we need more ramps. A lot more ramps. I need at least 10 ramps to besiege the capital city. <clears throat> Fewer than 10 are not going to cut it out. You just leave them be and you just stay with this person. Burn it down. Burn down that village. Their doom is at hand. It's as simple as that. There we go. 
hand cannon here, huh? Hand cannon here. They're dead. You want more hand cannon ears? I'll show you what good are hand cannon ears at. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Here, how are the siege engines coming along? Almost done. Good, good, good. Send it out. Send it out. Okay. Are we prepared? How many spearmen do I have? Let's look at our army. Six spearmen. It's not sufficient. We need more spearmen. Okay. Yeah, good luck scouts, good luck. Alright, light cavalry. Two, two. Ah, such few heavy cavalry. Okay, how many mang would I... Wait, wait, heavy cavalry. <laughs> Mangudai group 4 Our spearmen are group 5 and our siege engines are group 6 All 10 siege engines are group 6 Yep, yeah, get me all the spearmen I don't know how many I am producing, I am just producing like anything Okay, uh, you will move this girl here. Hmm. Okay, there's a keep, town center, ba couple barracks, an archery range, I university, blacksmith, a stable. Okay. Why, 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 why are you freaking out, buddy, buddy, buddy? Why are you freaking out, buddy? Come on, how much time do you need to get heavy cavalry out? Good. All these PR spearmen? Okay, spearmen, five. Simple. And our heavy cavalry. These are lancers, okay. So our heavy cavalry is three. More spearmen. Three more. Okay, okay. I have a lot more spearmen coming. All right, all right. <clears throat> I wish I had my scouts, but no can do. How to adjust? We just penetrate through. Simple. Come on, barracks. Okay. We are the five twenty-eight spearmen. Okay. Start battering down this bloody wall. Beijing is gonna fall today. What good is this wall of yours? Tower of yours? Archers? Really? No, oh, they're joking, aren't you? This is your lame ass defense. You have burned it out. You have burned it out. Yeah, just breach the wall. What are you even doing? Yeah, yeah, set it on fire. Blah, blah, blah. It's like as if they have, I don't have any ramps at all. 
That's it, crash it open. See, see. I want a nice big breach. There are hardly any defenders here. Wow. Man, would I? Yeah, good. Yeah, torch, torch everything. Scouts are coming in. How nice. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Poor fellows. God have mercy on your souls. Advance! Genghis Khan unleashed the wrath of his Mongol warriors on the heart of the beleaguered city. Jugaru, the Chukonu, repeating crossbow, invented by Juga Liang. It won't save you here though, unfortunately. Palace card. Oh, heavy infantry. Okay, okay. You will burn the gate, the landmarks first. Then burn whatever else you want. Poor fellows. The Great Chin Monument was put to flame. Mongol victory was within reach. And the academy next. Or this, what is this? The city Universal. was ready to fall in the wake of the destruction wrought by the Mongols. Oh my god! Oh my god, our men are being massacred. Shit! Got back for a moment. No wonder so many of our men were slaughtered. Really? This is all the great Jin dynasty can muster? Yay, yay, yeah, whatever. Ignore those soldiers, simple. Simple, look at this. Look, look, this is slaughter being perpetrated at them. This is utter slaughter. Utter slaughter. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, crossbowman. Okay. I won't take you lightly. Who is this? What? Mok? Okay, this university, not good. Very good. Now this thing goes. I think we have torched the entire military infrastructure of the city, if I'm right. Who wants to destroy housing and stuff? Get rid of this barracks here. Then we can leisurely destroy the city. It is almost destroyed. Just a few buildings remain. Though we took heavy casualties, that's for sure. We lost a lot of heavy cavalry and light cavalry. What is that arsenal? That definitely has to go there. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Wait, wait, don't do that. Yeah, now this thing is gonna burn. That's it, burn it down. And at last, to rub salt in their wounds, we shall burn their academy down. Attack! thing is collapsing collapsing done the imperial capital is lost Jongdo has fallen yes look at the loot we gained my god fell to the wrath of Genghis Khan's warriors yielding great riches for the Mongol Empire 
the sacking of Zhongdu would be remembered as one of Genghis Khan's most devastating victories. But this was just the beginning of his quest to create a global empire under Mongol rule. And he won! Alright, the once proud stronghold of Zhongdu crumbled before the Mongols. Genghis Khan took the treasures within and used them to strengthen his growing empire. Right. So this, the Battle of Zhongdu, this has already been seen. Let's see for the same Genghis point. Khan had successfully yeah. the Great Wall of China. I don't know why it's happened. Wait, XP. Okay. Alright. Uh, making the Mongol composite bow. This is a documentary video. Let's play. The Mongols were famed for their archers, and at the heart of their success was the clever engineering of the Mongol bow. The Mongol bow was part of a family of bows. Different cultures made these in varying <laughs> shapes, but they were all made of the same materials. They were all composite bows, assembled from several parts. Lucas Novotny is a world-class horse archer and a master composite bow maker. Here we have a wooden core. That's what we begin with. The core is basically the invisible part of the bow. All we see in a bow is always the flesh. However, we never see the skeleton. Just like in a human, we know it's there. The wooden parts are fitted together with precision joints, giving the bow its distinctive shape. Okay. Now, we have the tips. They go in like so. These tips of the bow are non-bending. They act as levers that allow you to draw a much stronger bow than you normally would be able to. It's a genius bit of engineering. The next stage in assembling the composite materials is to laminate the wooden core with strips of horn. A tool called a tendiac ensures that even pressure is applied to the glued surfaces. That's, that's a lot of pressure. I have to work to really kind of keep this in place. Horn resists compression and stores energy. It is the muscles of the bow. The bow maker then applies the sinew. This is dried animal tendons that have been pounded and shredded to produce fine fibers of considerable tensile strength. Bundles of combed sinew are moistened with water, then soaked in glue made from the swim bladders of fish. The sinew is applied carefully, layer by layer. One medieval text states that all of the skill lies in the laying of the sinew. You have to really be quick with your hands. You have to make sure the fibers are straight. Keeping the sinew straight is essential. If the limbs are not perfectly true, the bow risks twisting in action. A finished Mongol bow is usually covered with leather or birch bark to protect it from the elements. But the horn is exposed. That is where the power is. Somebody. In the hands of highly skilled mobile horse <clears throat> archers, the Mongol bow became one of the most legendary weapons in history. The archers ex uh, displayed exceptional skill and prowess. And notice the way they reload their bows. An untrained person is going to, uh, uh, well, I, I haven't had a chance to try those kinds of bows, but a skilled archer will never shake his bow arm up and down when he's loading his bow. He's going to maintain it in the direction he needs to shoot, no bringing it up, down, whatever, wherever. Depends on also the draw technique. Okay, that, that, let me clarify that. So, in this case, you have a small bow. Now, you do not make the bow come to the arrow and knock the uh, arrow to the bow, you do not do it like that. You should be skilled enough 
to draw instant instinctively fit your arrow lock it and draw it to full draw and then release this composite bow here will have a problem in temperate climates where there is a lot of rain where the weather is not like how it is in the steps see the steps are very dry it is desert terrain dry terrain where there is not much of humidity and moisture or there is not much rainfall these composite bows however will struggle in temperate climates such as those of europe where the weather is colder there is more humidity once it starts raining if you do not protect and cover your bows that water which is going to stick to your bow it is going to dissolve the glue it is going to dissolve and the glue and weaken your bow and that will render your bow ineffective so you need to be very 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 careful with your bows okay because a lot of effort goes into making you have seen the process there they followed to make the bow therefore composite bows on mounted uh, on horseback archery are very much effective because the bow you are making is a small one but it packs a lot of power you may not uh, i mean you might not have seen the true impact of the arrow but trust me the amount of shaking the no, the horn the ends of the bow on either side the amount of stress there was the way it vibe it shook and vibrated once the arrow was released once the tension was released these archers can pack a deadly punch so mounted archers you just charge in since since these people are born in the saddle they're going to they're going to you be very effective with their archery so they don't employ parthian tactics feint retreats their most famous thing so as their cavalry charges so called of a charge it is not going to be a charge as the cavalry charges shooting forward losing arrows every 5 to 6 seconds because it's 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 second nature by now to you so just draw fit knock the arrow draw to full full draw wherever the anchor point may be release and one more thing they are using a thumb ring they are not using uh, the mediterranean mediterranean draw where you have two fingers above the arrow one finger below the arrow they are using a thumb ring and this thumb ring is going to help a lot because you are primarily using your thumb the, the the gap between your thumb and your fingers to secure the arrow with the bow string okay this is a very skilled draw it's a very very good draw it's, it's also often called the mongolian draw primarily used by the mongols not just like that even cultures in the eastern Uh, Asian cultures such as China, Japan, even they use the thumb draw, but the Mongols use it on a wide scale because primarily their armies were primarily made up of horse archers. So you are able to draw the bow to your a skilled archer can draw the arrow all the way back to his ear. That is your anchor point and release. And these sinews, these horns, they are under so much pressure that energy that comes out of it, they can. penetrate through through armor is way you know you are not going to be shooting at armor exactly you you are going to be, you are going to, you would be knowing where to shoot you should not kill the horse when you kill the horse bring him down put an arrow through the gaps in his armor avoiding melee combat for the most part continuously skirmishing away i mean think about it your enemy is chasing you you employ parthian uh, tactics the parthian shot where you just turn back Uh, turn around and just fire at them as they are advancing at you. Sitting in your saddle, just turning around, turning, turn one eighty degrees around. Keep continue firing while your horse keeps moving forward. So those things are very disruptive. And the only way you can ever defeat such an army is you need to choose a battlefield of your liking, where you know you are going to win. the battlefield you choose against such an army makes a big difference and you need to instill rigid discipline in your army to not chase it is very 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 difficult continuously being under fire it annoys and frustrates anybody who is in that because you are you are being shot at you see your comrades die they sustain injuries you are not you 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 break your formation if you break up your formation to pursue them you are finished they just 
wheel around at this time they'll counter charge once they counter charge they just cut through your disorganized lines so that is why you need to choose your battles have discipline one way to counter horse archers is to use foot archers archers who are i mean infantry archers so as they come in and as they retreat you can use your archers to shoot volleys of arrows at them and bring them down remember they need to as they get closer they are more susceptible to that they are a bigger targets they present bigger targets to you your own archers then your own archers are to them because they are on the ground whereas they are on a horse so you bring down the horse you bring down the rider simple okay spirit banner page from history let's go spirit banner to a mongol warrior the horse was supreme animal its power spirit and endurance were vital to his survival and in leading him to victory of course appropriate As worshippers of the eternal blue sky, Mongol warriors believed they could harness the power of nature by raising a personal banner of horse hair to capture the force of the wind. Black hairs were used in times of war and white for peace. Over a warrior's lifetime, his banner would be infused with his spirit and become the guardian of his soul in death. The warrior would be remembered by his descendants and kept close to his family through the reverence of his spirit banner. Hmm. Okay, this is like a family heirloom. Ancestral worship. Okay. All right. Let's go back to the main menu. Yes. That brings us to the end of this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you liked the video, then leave a like. If you did not like the video, then leave a dislike. Share, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new videos when they are released. Until the next video this is Shiro Ranger signing out bye